Hello, my angels. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Britney Spears. What does it say? We're going to be embracing the Britney Spears Oracle card. Let me make sure it's not wet. Okay, sorry. I'm going to open it up. This is how it arrives from Amazon. Not sure if this is original or if this is a return, but we will find out. I would think it's a return with that bag. Britney Spears Oracle, a deck and guidebook to be stronger than yesterday. Oh, I love her. I do. Looks like that if you want to put it up. Uh, you wouldn't be able to put it this way because you could see everything. But if you did put it like this on a bookshelf. And on the back, it says, Queen Brittany offers inspiration in all her fabulous moments, fabulous forms with this oracle deck. There's 40 vibrantly illustrated oracle cards celebrating the superstar in her most iconic moments from music, video, stage performances, and more. So we're going to open it. The book is in there. So you have to pull it out like that. That's different packaging. I haven't seen it like that. That's the back. It's in color. Okay. Her outfits. Oh. Some of these are cop outs, as you can see. All right. Well, let's open up this bad boy. Introduction. It just talks about like all her different personalities. It numbers the cards. It says that there's 83. The introduction. Oh, these are the pages. There's 83 pages in this book. And it goes right into the artist. The badass. It's in alphabetical order. So let's put this back. I want you to see what it feels like and what it looks like. And then, oh, we have to take it out to get the cards out. Oh, well, that's interesting. Unless you want to bend it. The inside is ripped on there. Do you see that? Can you see how the inside is ripped? Huh. Crazy. I'm not going to return these. I just, I'm going to use these until they die. So they're not in alphabetical order, which leads me to believe they are returns. And we'll do them in sets of two since they're supposed to be 40. It doesn't tell you, see, this is what I wish. I just wish they would have the card, right? And then on the, see where this is, the masterpiece, this on the back. Cause now you have to look at it. So you have the little star, the boho babe, the strong woman and the halftime superstar. The school girl and the rebel. Perfume Queen and the Space Princess. The Cusp and the Beach Babe. Like, why wouldn't they just show her picture? The Bubblegum Brit and the Record Breaker. The Blue Jean Queen and the Masterpiece. That's when she was with Justin Timberlake. The Seeker and the Movie Star. They should have had her in that movie. The Princess of Pop and the Spotlight. They did get her, her features very well. Like they did capture her features very, very well. The Flight Attendant and the Living Legend. Let's see if I can get a little closer. I changed my layout, so this is the closest I can get right now. The dancer, that's a cop out, and the starlet. I just don't understand. There's so many pictures of her. Why you wouldn't just use all pictures of her? The lucky star and the fashionista. Again, this is so silly. 
the Snake Charmer and the Femme Fatale. The Yogi and the Ringleader. Dump him, that's interesting. The Graphic T and the Visionary. That was a really good one. Takes you back. The Showstopper and the Fitness Fan. The Forest Fairy and the Goddess. The Mother. Aww, I have the Golden Ticket and the Badass. This is weird that you would put that as the Badass, but... The Professional and the Artist. This is actually the first card, so we can read that. And then the Trailblazer and the Siren. So let's look at this real quick. The first one was the artist, and it says, Britney's artistic talents aren't limited to music when she isn't working. She loves to get in touch with her inner Van Gogh and spend some time at the easel. One of her flower paintings sold for $10,000, and proceeds went to the benefit the victims of the 2017 shooting in Las Vegas, just as she does with music and dance. Brittany uses her art to express herself and never takes her work too seriously. Unlock your creativity and see the world in bright, vibrant colors. As the artist. The masterpiece. Brittany's fifth album, Blackout, is considered by many fans to be her masterpiece. The 2007 album still sounds fresh and innovative. Its dark club ready beats changed the sound of pop music and we'll, we're still hearing its sonic influence all over the world with songs like piece of me and professional ballad why should i be sad sandwiched between sexy dance jams britney directly addressed the world's obsession with her private life the masterpiece is forward thinking never content to go with the flow and do what you what's what's been wait and do what's been done before never content to go with the flow and do what's been done before one sentence sorry blaze your own trail the greatest artist and accomplishment of her life are right on the horizon. Weird. The Blue Jean Queen. A red carpet outfit that went down in history. Brittany and her then-boyfriend Justin Timberlake showed up at the American Music Awards in 2001 in full-on denim outfits. From Brittany's strapless patchwork mermaid gown to Justin's jean suit, complete with a denim cowboy hat, it was a look and it's still being talked about today. Katy Perry even paid homage, uh, homage to it with a denim red carpet dress of her own. The blue jean moment was a perfect example of Britney's style. A little bit Hollywood with a little bit country. With a, lo with a lot of authentic country charm. The blue jean queen is a famous reminder to be yourself, whether it's a big event or a Monday at the office. The record breaker. Big things are coming. Are you ready for the platinum success? I think you just need to read the bottom. Otherwise, everything else is just telling you like the history of Britney. Like this one, the masterpiece, blaze your own trail. The greatest art and accomplishments of your life are right on the horizon. The Siren, Brittany entices and enchants knowing that everything she needs for her journey is within her. Yogi, follow the yogi's example today and take a moment to breathe, refocus and relax, connecting all the energy within you and finding your inner light. The Visionary, channel your inner visionary when you to need time, space, and enjoy and love. Huh, okay, let's try and do a quick reading. Let's see what pops out. How would I read this if I was here? Well, I am a reader on the Tarot True Leader. How would I interpret it? This is the back of the cards. They are quite lovely. Okay, so it seems like you're going to be in the spotlight in the next week. I would definitely keep an eye out for opportunities that are going to bring you to the forefront, whether you're at work or at home. The Princess of Pop. It seems like you are going to be revered. You're going to feel like a princess. Like it's just going to come out of nowhere. Um, and with the movie star, it might actually happen when you might meet somebody when you go to the movies, if you go to the movies. Um, or perhaps letting your inner light shine so people can see the star within you. Because here, the seeker, someone's seeking you out already. Either they've been looking for you or they've already seen you and they're just trying to figure out how to approach you. So what I would do is just keep an eye out 
because you are going to be in the spotlight. Someone's going to look at you and they're going to see you as like this princess and the person that like shines so bright for them. Get excited about that. That or you're going to have a biz, uh, business and work opportunity where you're going to be able to shine and show what you really know. Lucky star. You're going to feel really lucky when this happens. This is going to be like a, a faded event or like a wish fulfillment. So get excited about that. So that's how I would use this if I were doing readings. Um, let's do another reading. Completely different subject. The rebel. Somebody is acting out of character and or just being rebellious at this moment. The dancer. that You might see them going out. And dancing or being free or wild or expressing themselves in a way that you're not accustomed to. The living legend. They might actually be going out wearing these scantless clothes. Like showing a lot more skin than they're used to. Um, being Maybe they're going through a midlife crisis. <laughs> but someone is definitely... Because living legend refers to somebody that's been around for a while, right? So it could be an older person that's just rebelling right now and just letting it all out. The flight attendant, it could be when you travel. Because I know like when I went to Ibiza with my friends, they were older and they would never act the way they acted in Ibiza in New York or New Jersey, like never. So perhaps you're traveling and in your travels, you decide to go ahead and be free. Or perhaps this is someone that you know that is actually a flight attendant. And this is actually who they are outside of their job. Um, but it seems like there to me, it seems like there's travel on the horizon and something in this experience is going to open you up to a whole nother part of yourself that you were unaware of. So that's what I have for you guys. I do like this deck because I'm a huge Britney Spears fan, like forever, Britney, I love you. Um, if you are a Britney fan, I highly recommend this deck. You'll probably be getting a return from Amazon. If you're lucky, you'll probably get the shrink wrapped one, which is brand new. Um, I'm okay with this because I've returned so many things from Amazon. I do not want to return anything else. I could live with that little dent on the inside. Um, but that's what I have for you guys. Rock and roll. If you like the deck, please click the link below and, um, please support the channel. Or if you'd want to just send a donation to thank me for all the videos that I've made, I would really, truly appreciate it. Um, any love, support, like subscribes. Um, I was doing a giveaway, but it didn't seem like anybody was interested. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another giveaway and I'm going to try a different deck because perhaps it was the deck that you guys didn't like. Um, but what I am going to do is I'm going to give away this brand new mini deck. It's the Art Nouveau Tarot. This is not an original deck. It's not authentic, but it is um, the same pictures without the gold foil. So this particular deck is famous for its gold foil. And when we get to 50 subscribers, I'm going to give this away. We're right there. Um, you use the QR code to actually print out the book if you want. I have one that's already open that I'm giving away on my Tarot Cheerleader channel. So I can show you what the cards look like. But just so you can see, they look like this. There's no gold foil. You can still see the images in the pictures. And I've done a review um, of the actual original deck. But with the mini deck, somebody sent me a few of these and there was two of them in there. I opened one to do a review. And then the other one I kept closed because I knew I was going to do a giveaway on it. These are beautiful cards. I should probably keep a deck. But that's what I'm giving away right now. So if you guys are interested, please like, subscribe, and share. Write in the comment section that you are interested. And I will give this deck to somebody. When we get to 50 subscribers. Get excited. Uh, if... Thank you so much and have a good day.